Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make particles. First, what you want to do is grab a fusion, go into fusion. Next, what you want to do is make a little 3D scene. So like grab an image plane, a merge camera, and a 3D render, connect it all together. Uh, and then if you want, you could also add like a background. I just probably went in here for an example. Make sure your camera is at 1.65 so you can get the clip in its original spot. Um, and then for background, I just like to do negative two for Z and then just scale it up so you could see it so it fits everything. All right, next for the particles, what you want to do, add a merge and then control or shift spacebar, search up P emitter and then control spacebar P render. I'll put the 3D on my second screen on the left so you guys can see. And uh, to start this, what you want to do is um, change the number. Uh, I don't know how many particles you guys want. I like to go like 250, maybe 500. But make sure you go to the first frame. So frame zero, keyframe number at the num at the amount of particles you want. So 250 for me, I'll probably go up. Keyframe that, go to the next frame and then go to zero. Now, uh, lifespan, um, you could always change it. Make it shorter, make it longer. Uh, this fusion comp is almost 300 frames, so I'm gonna just put 300 in the lifespan, and then there we go. Next, what you want to do is go to style, then go to blob, then go to region, and then put the size up till it fits the whole screen. I mean, one could work, you can go higher than one as well. I'm gonna just do like 1.5. Next, go back to style. Uh, under color controls, you could change the color to whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna just stick with white. And then you could always like change the colors here as well. Like if I'm going for like a blue and purple theme, I like to put the blue up and then the red down a little bit. So it gives it like a little purple theme kind of. I'm gonna just stick with white, so I'm gonna just reset. Now, once you have your colors, go to size controls. I like to put my size around like 0 0.01 and then size variance. It like uh, makes it random size basically. Uh, I like to go up to 0.1. Uh, we could always mess with like the size. Let me go down a little bit. 0 0.075. You can always change the seed and controls. So you do something like that. I guess I should be fine. If you want it to move in like random areas, control spacebar and then search up P turbulence. Put that after the emitter. And then now you could like, you could mess with the strength i like to go like 0.15 on each one or 0.25 and in density i put like maybe 50 or something so now we can see like it's moving if you want it to go one direction you could do p directional force search that up paste it after the turbulence next what you want to do is um figure out like an angle on what you want to do so i'm gonna do like an angle like around here and then the strength i like to go light so maybe like 0.1 not that's too strong probably 0 0.02 0 0.0025 so it slowly goes down that looks way better it looks like just like snow and then i could always like um change the size make it smaller so it could be like that even Maybe I could add more. I'm gonna go up to like 400. Change the seed. And then now we got like snow particles going down, which looks cool. Uh, I like to add these particles, like maybe like to resemble stars in my 3D transitions. Maybe just as decoration, I could put it, you know, like you could do anything with it. But this is basically how I do my particles for my videos. And yeah, it's like, it's pretty simple. Um, I mean, some other stuff you can add. You could add like soft glow, X glow, you know, color correction to like mess with like the brightness of them. But uh, it looks fine to me right now. Um, these colors look good. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, let me know what you guys want next. So yeah.